Hello there! This is LEGO Dynasty, and today I'm bringing you guys my review of the LEGO Marvel Motorcycle Chase Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock. It is set number 76275, comes with 77 pieces, and is rated ages 6 and up. Now this set retails in the United States for $9.99, and in Canada for $13.99. Now without further ado, let's kick off this review, starting with the box. So of course this is a very small box, but it still looks pretty good, and obviously fits the size of the set quite well. You have the Spider-Man logo on the side there, which looks pretty good. You have the Venom Doc Ock and Spider-Man, which is pretty cool to get the Venomized Doc Ock. I definitely have enjoyed some of these uh, Venomized versions of characters, though some have definitely been weirder than others. But as you see on the back, it looks very cool there. Uh, the background of New York City behind the set looking pretty nice. Uh, not a whole lot of play functionality in the set this small, but still, they managed to put in a few uh, different play functions, which we will get into. Now, taking a quick look at the manual, as you can see, you have uh, Doc Ock and Spider-Man. Like, it's a rendered image of the set. Uh, definitely, like I've said in any of my reviews, don't prefer the rendered image, but it doesn't really matter with the building experience. And lastly, we'll take a look at the extra pieces. Now, admittedly, uh, all of these jewel pieces generally are actually meant to be part of the set, as it's supposed to be Doc Ock, you know, robbing a bank. But I uh, just decided to put them all in here, as you can see, just so I didn't lose them. Uh, you're left with quite a few of them, which is pretty nice. You know, you have the two blue jewels, two green, and two pinks, uh, as well as some extra studs um, as well. Take a look at our first minifigure, and definitely the coolest one in the set. Uh, we have Venomized Doc Ock. Just looks really awesome to have the symbiote sort of breaking through on the printing. Just very unique uh, and fun. Uh, of course, pretty typical Doc Ock design in terms of, you know, the arms, uh, obviously with the clip. And then just, uh, really it's just the extra special printing. Now, there is no arm or uh, leg printing. But still looks pretty cool. You know, you have the green arm and the black arm there, as you can see. Uh, I think the only thing I would have liked is if they did a, uh, even if it was a, like, perhaps one of the legs dual molded with black sort of shooting down. Or uh, just one of these legs being black, uh, just to represent the symbiote sort of seeping through. But I'm guessing they didn't want to do that just because uh, they didn't want to print the belts to be black on the one side. Uh, still, pretty nice character here. And I'll take off his uh, arms just to show what it looks like. Now, as you can see, looking at both the back face print, uh, it's basically entirely venomized there with the venom symbiote sort of seeping through. And then the back printing just has some minor references of the symbiote uh, on the back there, which I kind of like a lot. Just that real nice attention to detail it just looks really awesome. Taking a look at our next minifigure, we have Spider-Man. This is your run-of-the-mill Spider-Man, but still overall pretty nice minifigure. And what I absolutely love is they do have arm printing on him, which just looks outstanding, I have to say. Uh, just really fun to see that. Uh, the back torso print also looks excellent. Just Taking a look at the spider bike, uh, as you can see here, looking very awesome. And first things first, you have this really awesome print. This is not a sticker, it is a print. Just awesome to see that from LEGO. Uh, you have the stud shooters on the side, as you can see with the white uh, stud to sort of represent webs, which I think is awesome, rather than being, you know, a different color, them going the extra mile to make it white. Uh, very simple thing for them to do, but, you know, you never know. They could have definitely made it red or blue or black or green or whatever that they have for other stud shooters. Uh, so for them to give white studs, I think is really cool. Um, of course, you have room for Spider-Man to sit in the bicycle, or bicycle, a motorbike, um, just like that. He actually lost one of his webs as I was, uh, as I was putting him in. Now, uh, you can sort of uh, maneuver the arms to fit his hands in, but uh, I just uh, find it, like, it, it works okay, but it's not... It's not foolproof or anything. It doesn't go like perfect as handlebars, but it works okay, as you can see. Like, I, I never find that you can actually like fully get them on his hands without uh, the part breaking off. So, like, just like that, I think it looks pretty good overall. And just showing off the stud shooter function, just press down on that, and generally you will lose your stud. 
Now taking a look at the other little build included, you have this lamppost build, which uh, also has a trash can with a bone and a um, most likely rotten fish. You also are left with a banana peel, uh, which I guess is just fun. Um, uh, just uh, pretend to have one of the characters slip on, I guess. I mean, it obviously doesn't have any real function, but it's it's a fun little piece. I assume um, this piece was used for Lego Mario, and they brought it over into this set, and it works okay. The lamppost itself, uh, pretty basic build, as you can see, but it's fine, I guess. Like, in the end, this is a very random one-off build to include in a set like this. It doesn't really add much to the set in my mind, but I guess it's nice that they included it, just something to basically allow Doc Ock to stand on rather than just having him stand on nothing or have nothing uh, else going on other than just the jewels. The Lego Motorcycle Chase Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock is a fun set and a great way to get a really unique Venomized Doc Ock minifigure. In the end, at such a cheap price, if you don't happen to have a Spider-Man minifigure, this might be your cheapest option to get one. Uh, and with that being said, I think this is a fun set. I think the motorcycle build for the Spider-Man motorcycle is, you know, it's pretty standard build, but it's fun and it has a really awesome printed piece here, which I think definitely aids in the value of the set. So I definitely would recommend picking up this set if you're a fan of Spider-Man, Marvel, or just want a fun set uh, in general. But that's all my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on this LEGO Motorcycle Chase Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock in the comments down below. Are you guys planning to pick this set up or have you already? Please leave a like if you have enjoyed and have a great day everyone.